Okay, Mario Garcia Romo of Ole Miss uh, making the mile final here at NCAAs. How'd yeah. that prelim feel for you? I mean, it felt good. The, the, the thing was, was pretty slow, you know. Uh, and the slow races always get crowded, so made a lot of people moving. I had to go out to lane four in the, in the back stretch, but I mean, just another semi final and just trying to get ready for the final, save as much energy as possible. And I mean, we got the, uh, the job done. My teammate James Sun also made the final, so, so we accomplished all the goals we have for today. Do you get worried when you see the first heat go really, really fast? Do you know, oh man, I, I definitely need to be top four, there's not going to be a time for well, I mean, 358 is not fast nowadays, I feel. Okay. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, you know, like, I can run any type of race. I, I've been training very well. Like, I, I feel like I can run a good 3K, at the same time I can run a good 800, so I'm in a dusty spot for the mile and 15. And I mean, any type of race, I think it's good for me. And today, for example, it was a slow race. I finished pretty well, and I have even more in, in the tank. So, like tomorrow, the whatever type of race it is, I think I'm gonna be ready. Do you think the which do you think is your best event right now? Uh, I would say the 1500. I mean, I've run the 1500 ever since I was like, I mean, 16 years old because that's when we could start running the 1500. But I've been like running middle distance, like the thousand, the the mile, or the 1500 ever since I started running. So I have a lot of confidence in this event. I have a lot of experience. I've been in a lot of championships. So I think like, that's my best event as of now. Yeah. Yeah. What was your reaction earlier in the season when you run a 748 and it's not good enough to qualify in a 3K, knowing that you probably could do well in a 3K if you run the Yeah, three? I mean, the goal for this year was running the 3K and helping the DMR. But the way we run the season, I, mean, I had the chance to run the mile mirror, so I took, I took it, you know. Uh, and then I decided to run the mile at Vanderbilt and run the three the following day. I felt a little tired the second day and for SSCs I did the same thing. I went, I went to help the DMR team and I tried to run the three again and you know I felt the race the day before. But I mean, I think uh, uh, this year has been really good. I had an incident at the start of the season. I had a car crash and luckily I, you know, I woke. I like, know injured and, and alive. One of my teammates they have been around in the season because uh, he got surgery in his, in his shoulder. So I, I'm taking anything this season. I'm very grateful to be able to run and I'm very thankful for you know being here and just helping my team as much as I can. So what was that? You, you got, almost got hit with a bad car? Or no, something? so we got in a car crash in, oh, in, in January. Car? Yeah, oh. and not many people knew. And you know, I think like anything that I've accomplished this year is is you know very good and. And I'm very grateful just to, to be able to train and run and run on this level. And, you know, especially I'm running this, uh, this weekend for my, for my teammate, Lawson Hens. He's, uh, he's not running right now because of uh, the surgery, but I think he, he'll join us very, very soon. And what was the decision you're not running the DMR tonight? What was the thinking behind that? Well, I, I, just, I just think that we have a team deep enough to run other people. You know, I think Jared's a great runner, but uh, as we, see on, uh, we saw in SCCs, I think like many people can beat him, and, and I honestly trust my teammates to do it. And I think Olmis is gonna is gonna fight today. Yeah, you were you were third in the three K here last year, right? So, yeah. So do you think you're fitter than you were in 2021? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would say I would say I'm in better shape than even outdoor last year. So so yeah, I mean I, I'm very confident for tomorrow. I think it's gonna be a great show. And can you give us an insight? Why are, why are so many Spaniards running fast this year? We had yeah. uh, you know an 800 national record. We had. Del Michel break the yeah. you know, national record, the European record. What do you, what's going into Spanish distance running? Well, I think, I mean, Spain has been a, a powerhouse ever since, you know, the 90s, 80s with Abascal, Gonzalez, Cacho. And I feel like, you know, it's just a really good generation. We, we've raced against each other for a long time now. Most of the running is running those at like my age or, or a little older or, or younger than me. So I think just racing against each other is, is making us a very, very powerful country right now. And, I would say that it's, it's very good for the sport and very good for us, for the FK runners, because you're just by the same business and 333 don't make the, the world team or the Olympic team, so you gotta be faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Good luck in the final.